Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we have to discuss how to create a stretchable family plinth in Revit. Okay, so first try to understand. In HVAC, the term plinth typically refers to the base or foundation on which a piece of equipment or machinery is placed. And why we are using plinth here? What is the main purpose of creating plinth? So remember, plinths are used to support and elevate HVAC units like air handling unit, condensers or other equipment. Okay, They provide sta stability, help in vibration, isolation Okay, and can also serve to elevate the equipment above potential flood levels or other environmental concern. Okay. So the design and construction of plinth are essential to ensure proper install installation and functioning of HVAC equipment. So this is the main use of plinth here. So how to create that plinth that I will show you here. So for that if you want to create a plinth, a stretchable plinth. So come here in file tab. So plinth is a family. So you have to come here new, under new hit on family. Now from here you have to select the unit in which language you want to work select the language language is English only. So here two unit is given you want to create the plinth in imperial unit or in metric unit. So I want to create the plinth in imperial unit. So just double hit on that imperial and from here you have to select the mechanical equipment why because we are working in mechanical template okay. So better is to create the plinth in mechanical equipment. Select the mechanical equipment from here, open it. See, now we are in family creation. You can see the in project browser, floor plan, reference level. So here you can create any of the family. So we need to create the stretchable family plinth. So for that, what you have to do first here in properties palette, you have to hit on file family types. And here you have to create four parameter first of all. We know that if you want to create the plane, so we need which type of parameter we need. We need the length of that plane, width, height, if you want to change the material. So just that also we have to add. So hit on new parameter first. Create one parameter for length. So here I am writing length. Okay. So write down the parameter name length. So length uh, discipline common type of parameter here you have to select length only okay and group parameter under dimension from here you can see two types of property is given types property and second one instant property so always if you want to create the stretchable family just hit on instant property first try to understand what is instant property and what is type property so in Revit instant properties refer to specific characteristics or parameter that can be assigned unique value to individual elements within a family or project. So this property are unique to each instance of the element and can be modified without affecting other instances. Okay. Now second one is type properties. So you can say this type properties are properties that are shared among all instances of a particular family type. They define the common characteristic for element of the same type. Okay, so changing a type property what happen will affect all instances of that specific type within the project. So for instant you can say uh, in a door family the instant property might include the door width, height, swing direction etc. Which can be different for each door instant in the project. And the type property would include things like the door type example single or double material or fire rating which would be consistent for all doors of that particular type throughout the project okay so this is the main difference so always remember here you have to select the instance property hit on c for length we have created parameter for length again hit on new parameter create the par uh, width write down width and select instant property hit on ok again hit on new parameter create one more parameter for height and hit on instant okay check this one also and then finally hit on okay now let's say i want to create one more parameter for material okay so write down your material discipline common only but here in types of parameter you have to select the material okay here also you can change the type or what you want so suppose for material i am taking type property okay 
now height length you can write down the length suppose for plinth i want a uh, six feet length i have given the length six feet width i want four feet so I, we are creating the stretchable family so don't worry whatever length and width you are writing you can stretch you can increase or decrease the length and width okay so height for plinth i am taking here or one feet is enough i think or two feet as per your requirement you can just take it okay so let's say i am taking two feet then hit on apply okay after that see now we have to create the plinth so in create tab only you have to select the reference plane from here first you have to draw the reference plane like this see because we need to create a rectangular plinth you know that here i have created the reference plane now use this shortcut di dimension lf from here to here see measure the distance from year to year also we have to measure the distance then total width how much just check it total length sorry total length of this you can check it now see here if you want both side if you want equal distance select it and check equal so see in both side you will get the equal distance in length in width also you can select it and check equal now tell me how much length we have given so select that dimension from the label here whatever parameter you have added in family tab it is here so length you want to give six feet select it automatically it will take here same way for width select and from label just take a width four feet so here you will get the reference now you can easily use the extrusion command and draw it but first you have to come here in front elevation we have to check the height also so in front elevation just in create tab reference plane here also we have to draw it and by using di command just measure the height see it is showing to fit something but how much we have taken select the dimension from label just hit on height okay like this now again here we need to create the family so hit on create tab form panel here you have to use the extrusion so nothing to do only you have to change the extrusion and extrusion start from zero and height we have taken two feet remember this point if you are not changing don't worry in front elevation also you can go and check it so better is to check uh, change the value from here only okay height we want two feet so i have written from draw panel select the rectangle from this point to this point draw it and then you can come here in front elevation also you can see it. first hit on finish edit mode from here now come here front elevation here also the height is two feet okay so now if you want to see this plinth in 3d see from vcb always hit on find and shaded view see the plinth we have created it is a stretchable plinth remember that i will show you after creating suppose now you want to change the material of that plinth so already if you remember i have created one parameter for material select the plinth from the drawing category hit on this three dot okay here you will get the you want to open the material browser so hit on open or close uh, closes asset browser so from here you can just uh, search any of the material suppose i want to apply concrete material so i am searching concrete so when you hit on that here you will get different material what you want to apply i want to apply this material see what happened just double hit on that which material you want automatically that material will added here okay you can see then close it finally after closing this hit on apply and okay now the material will apply if you want to see uh, in shaded view it is not possible to see the real texture of that material you have to open the realistic view for that see when i have opened the realistic view now see the material which we have applied see the texture concrete material okay now same this plinth you want to you want to load this plinth first come here in file tab save it as a family save it to the desired location for example i want to save in desktop with the name uh, plinth okay here i have saved it after saving just hit on load into project and close from here now that plinth we have created if you want to see that plinth first come here in project browser suppose where we you want to place the plinth in the roof only because we have plans if you remember we have decided decided already when we are creating the hvc zone that ahu chillers pumps everything we have to place above the roof so i want to place the plinth above the roof 
above the splint only we need to place the AH and everything okay so here I want so where we have loaded that if you remember I I have created that plane in which discipline under English imperial mechanical equipment so if you want to search that plane so come here in system type hit on mechanical equipment that plane is loaded in mechanical equipment you can see here the name is written where you want to place just you can place it now see it is a stretchable family when you hit on manually you can increase the length and width of that family getting like this you can see in 3d view the plinth which we have placed okay from here open the shaded view see the plinth so above this plinth only we need to place the ahu or chiller everything getting so in this way we have to create a stretchable family plinth in revit i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next